Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to install the latest version of NetBeans that is NetBeans 13 on a Windows operating system. So let's begin. Now to install NetBeans you need to install Java first. So for that I have already made a video on how to install Java. So I will be putting the link in the description. So just follow that link and install your Java and then you can come back to this video. Or if you have previously installed already Java, then just simply proceed with this video. So for that, to install NetBeans, you need to first download NetBeans. So for that, just simply go to your favorite browser and at this bar, just simply type NetBeans download. Then it. And you will be saying this NetBeans.apache.org is rightly opened over here. So just you know, simply click on this Apache NetBeans and it will going to redirect you to this you know official site of netbeans and here you can see that our apache netbeans 13 is rightly over here and it is released on march 4 2022 right so to download just simply click on download and it will going to redirect you to this page here you can see that it is available for windows linux we are going to install it on your windows operating system so i'm going to just simply click on this windows and it will going to redirect you to this apache page here we need to just simply click on this link and what it will do is it will going to start downloading our netbeans now since i have already downloaded it i just simply cancel it and if i go to my download directory you can see that our netbeans is already been downloaded over here so to install you need to just simply double click on it And it will going to ask you for administrative privileges. Just simply click on yes. And you can see our Apache NetBeans IDE installer has rightly opened over here. So let us first minimize our download directory. And you can see that our NetBeans IDE installer has rightly opened. So it is now currently configuring. So it has rightly configured. So these are all files and IDE that they're going to be installed. So just you know simply click on next. This is our license agreement. Just simply accept it and then just simply click on next. So this is the folder that they're going to create in our program files. And you can see that I have Java installed on my machine. So it has rightly recognized the latest version of JDK that is JDK 7.1.0.2. So I have rightly made a video on that. So do install your Java as I have told you. So after you, you know install your Java, that link or that path will be shown over, over here. Right. So keep this all default. Then just simply click on next. And it has rightly checked for updates. So do check that if any updates are coming from NetBeans. So you can you know automatically check for update for that and just simply keep other things default just simply click on install what it will do is it will going to start extracting all files and then it will going to install so this you know enter process might take some time maybe you know three to four minutes so what i'll be doing is i'll be coming back right after completion of this process yeah so we'll come back and now as you can clearly see that our apache netbeans ide has right to install and our desktop shortcut is also created over here so just you know simply click on finish and uh, just you know simply double click on apache netbeans ide 13 to launch our apache netbeans and you can see that our apache netbeans is currently launching and it has rightly launched so you know let us first maximize it this is the interface of our apache netbeans so here if you want to check any demo or tutorials so you can just you know simply proceed with these links or you can also take a tour but uh, i'm not going to you know show all of this because it's going to unnecessarily take a lot of time so what i'll be doing is i'll be showing you how to create a simple java project and how to run them in our netbeans ide so for that what you need to do is you need to just simply click on file and then new project so this will going to open this window so here you can see that under categories you have so many options like you can create java with maven project or java with gradle project 
or Java with Ant. So these three are like the Java projects. So if you want to code in some other languages like HTML, JavaScript or C++ or PHP, so that also you can do. But I'm going to show you a simple Java with Ant project. So just you know, simply going to click on Java with Ant and here in project I'm going to choose just a simple Java application and then just simply click on next. So it is now currently finding some feature so it will take time and you can see it is now currently activating our Java AC and you can see it has rightly activated and our project name they have assigned as just a demo project so I'm going to you know change it as uh, just uh, hello world and this is our project location so I'm going to keep this as a default and then just simply click on finish and one thing before that also check this uh, create main class so that our main class is also get created right so it is by default checked so I'm going to keep this default and then just simply click on finish so it is going to start creating our new project over here and uh, you can see that it has rightly created our project so here under project tab you can see our hello world project is rightly created over here and this is our writing area right so here you can write code and they have also created our main method so here uh, if you just you know simply want to display something in our output console so that also you can do by just you know simply uh, there is this class called system dot out dot uh, print len in java so if you just you know simply print hello world so system is our class so you are just going to print hello world so you can easily write this just the, this much and if you just simply click on this run button you can see that our output hello world has rightly shown in our console so in this way you can easily install NetBeans IDE 13 on a windows operating system so that's basically all about this video friends thank you very much for watching this video and god bless you all